Welcome in, everyone, to Let's Get On With Live, where we do, in fact, play video games here. That's usually the case. Somehow, some way, that has persisted uh, throughout the years. And perhaps throughout, or over, or during, or in the course of many more. I'm Grimoth. One day I may not be Grimoth, but today I remain Grimoth. We are continuing Might and Magic Merge, the world of Inroth, using together the games Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven, Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor, and Might and Magic 8, Day of the Destroyer. We have not actually visited Might and Magic 8 at this time, but we have seen its influence and effects. I anticipate we will be visiting Might and Magic 8 soon, but probably not today. Now, yesterday, last session, we just visited the Oracle. We fetched all four memory modules, which actually powered up the Oracle, and then uh, gave the Oracle its memory back, so that it could actually deposit knowledge. And the Oracle said, Hey bud, I'm glad you helped, because uh, Archibald had really fucked up my shit. Because I refused to help Archibald, and Archibald wouldn't take no for an answer. Uh, but I can't help directly. Instead, I can tell you what's happening. So that Night of the Shooting Stars? Yeah, those are Kregans. Kregans are here to destroy the world. And you're going to need help destroying the Kregans. Now, there are awesome weapons and armor that you're going to need to destroy the Kregans. Problem. I can't give them to you. Because you don't have the correct bureaucratic access to them. Despite you and I understanding the situation as it exists, I can't give you access. You're gonna need a control cube. Good news, there is a single control cube left that I can detect uh, here in the world of Enroth. It's in the Tomb of Arm. You're gonna have to go get that. Have fun. So that's what we're doing. And we walked out richer in experience because delivering the four memory crystals is worth 100k XP each which allows us to train up a bit. Vargas up to 84, Flailfist up to 91 and these kids up to 87 but I had a little bit of a thought at the end of the game or at the end of uh, yesterday's broadcast it was like wait a minute what if what if I brought in more instructors on the team since learning uh, applies to quest experience in the revamp, revamp branch of the merge mod, and then I I boosted 100k, 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 100k with four instructors. So I did that. Now we live here in the world of Tuesday 8.34 a.m. as opposed to Tuesday... 2.07 a.m. I'm outside Stone City. So, we can train up to level 86. 92, 89, 89, 89. Uh, I had four instructors on the team, briefly. And then for what I'm about to do, which is train, I've, uh, I've chucked in two rustlers so that everyone is at minimum training costs. Uh, taking a look at everyone's age, it looks like uh, Vargas has uh, gained 10 years. Everyone else is perfectly fine. That's okay, we'll dunk Vargas's head in the uh, Hermit's Isle at some point in time. No big deal. Stats-wise, uh, there was a leather expert I failed to grab, and then there was a mace master that I had worked my way up to through horseshoes. Everyone else is the same on that account. Uh, Inventory-wise, I went to the Blackshire Weapon Shop, which does great for uh, spears and staves. And I found this Weighted Halberd of Darkness. Now, it doesn't do as much damage as the Swift Mighty Halberd, which is unfortunate. 3d6 plus 6 is a, a fall from 3d5 plus 16. But it deals more damage to the Vampiric Dragon Harpoon, and it fuses both of them together. This is not a suffix I can add through enchant item. And, you know, it's the thing I look for. 
it's what I want on a staff. For Flail Fist. It drain hit points from drains hit points to target and increases the weapon speed. Uh, she's up to 49 base recovery time without any buffs on, which is delightful. Compare that to the 47 uh, with Merlin equipped, uh, but that is with a swiftness there. Was he Were he not to have swiftness but a normal staff, uh, or even just a vampiric staff, uh, he would be slower, and uh, that would be cause for frowning. Now, I also picked up a book of vampiric weapon. I went to a dark guild of magic in Whitecap, and they just had one. And I was like, oh cool, this spell does exist. Great. So, if the situation arises, if truly we live in desperate times, I can enchant items with vampiric weapon. This may come up if I need to have a dagger. Drain hit points here, for example, or... The sword situation's not gonna... That's not gonna be an issue. Stuff like that. Or go ahead and... That'll be useful. Right. I took the liberty of mixing up some more divine powers and divine cures. I have this cure disease potion floating around that uh, I can put a philosopher's stone in. And once I get some more yellows, I've done a decent job of uh, chewing through alchemical reagents. But don't worry, we have a total of three games worth of alchemical reagents. If I need them, we can get them. So we're going to sell both of these. Uh possible that I could keep this, but I'm enjoying Arms Master Skill plus 10 and draining hit points from target. Uh, every character has demonstrated their strengths and weaknesses uh, over the course of this series, over these several broadcasts. But I have heartily enjoyed having the knight and monk together with a cleric and sorcerer, and then still having an ancillary skill slot who is turning into a, uh, well, a Gatling gun. That's gonna get a little bit better from there, too. Uh, it's gonna get a little bit better from there. A uh, couple of other notes. Uh, one thing I wanted to share off is I was visiting a couple of places to renew my beacons before I train, and, uh, Paradise Valley reset. You know, I didn't go out of my way to really clear this place out, and that's okay. Because uh, infinite golden experience awaits you in these games. If you just burn enough in-game time, it's there. And the best way to burn in-game time is to train, but you can just hammer out a bunch of sleep or travel. I think that's it for notes. I'm gonna train up. I'm gonna train up to 86. It'll be another 20 levels. We'll pass several months in game time. Uh, I got my money on hand. This is all of my cash. 1.5 million. <laughs> yeah, it's all of it. I will probably burn through... I don't know. 300k of that. We'll deposit it in the bank. I'll head back to Might and Magic 6, to New Sorpagal, to Dragon Sand. Oh, I want to visit Whitecap before I head to Dragon Sand. Um, I miss the obelisk there. Now, the obelisk is behind the High Lord's keep, and I just never went back there to tag it. Uh, that'll mean that the only one I'm missing is in Sweetwater, and then we can read the message together. As a family, we'll take care of that this broadcast. Okay, let's train. No pain, no gain. To show off the followers, we have Mindy here, our instructor. We have J Jessa, I picked up in Castle Pierpont, instructor. And then we have two, these two faces. No pain, for free haven. No gain. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! I'm paying for five characters worth of trading costs. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! I'm getting a lot of money and I'm actually like taking the steps to because uh follower bonuses from the same follower stack. Just two rustlers instead of like a like a 
a merchant, a duper, for example, is enough to make sure everyone's trading costs are at the minimum here. Good job. Now, I'm fairly certain, but not absolutely certain, that Stone City will train up to level 100. Uh, provided we get enough experience to exceed that, we'll have to go elsewhere. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The month is now September, and we have some more skill points, my friends. 136 to 154 damage? Uh, we all can see that's not enough damage, and just upping sword? Pff, who cares about that? We double all the previous bonuses by upping Arms Master. Yeah, 152 to 170. That seems okay. Flelf is the ninth. Uh, there is an argument, I would say, for upping staff. Uh, increasing that chance to stun. Be pretty spiffy. But we gotta speed up here, just in case we don't have a haste effect, you know, or if we're gonna drop the swiftness staff, and our way to speed up is gonna be through Arms Master. He could use an Arms Master buff. I did sell these gauntlets, and that was a mistake. Uh, those arms, those gauntlets were providing a plus five Arms Master. Uh, I should have been like giving him that bonus. And then again, these were unarmed skill plus 12 gauntlets. I was right to keep those. I should be on the lookout for an item that buffs Arms Master to give it to Flailfist. Now his attack timer is down to 38 with the staff. Amy Missouri Leader Theory is taking these points and chucking them into bow. It takes her recovery time down to 36. Unhasted. Unbuffed. Uh, Polly, I wonder whether there's a where. I wonder when the point is that'll uh, branch from light magic and lift up spirit and body, because uh, I am getting use and value out of those. But I don't think that point is now. I'm not exactly used to playing this game <laughs> these days with such high level, you know? And uh, here, it's dark magic. Dark magic of 33. All right. Everyone's highest skill. Turns out, all right, uh, Amy Zuri Legion Theory actually ends up the highest here at bow, even though she diversified herself into uh, these skills for me. She's needed to raise fewer things up to ten. So she's one in the lead. <laughs> Alright, cool. These are being sold. Might as well sell things while I'm here. Because I'm also going to redeposit the money in the bank while I'm here. Looking for something special? Yep. Thank you for your patronage. Yep. Can I help you? <sighs> yeah, I guess you can. One, one, five, zero, 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 zero. Gotta keep her some walking money. That's enough walking money, right? See ya. See ya. Go ahead and visit the alchemist while I'm here as well. I'll look out for a few yellows. Nothing but the finest ingredients. Those aren't yellows. <laughs> Those are definitively not yellows. Those aren't the combinations I'm looking for either. We must descend. We must descend, Kalen. I accept your money, and I'll inform Big Twitch of this money. I'll buy that wasp wing. Cheapskate. Buffoon. That's right. You tell him, buffoon. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Yes. Uh. We'll just go ahead and shall we mix another that in there right now. Okay.
I also did a little bit of inventorying. Deposited some artifacts in Castle Harmondale. So it goes. Oh, right. I don't have Flycast. Because, you know, we just finished training. Hi. How are you? Doing all right. How are you? Just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> Okay. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? There's gotta be a one mushroom laying around here somewhere that I missed. Ha <laughs> ha! We've of course already tagged that challenge. One singular obsidian. Here we go. Great. Chuck that in. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Toss that in there. Wonder bubbles. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? There's another divine cure for us. Add that to the pile of divine cures. Ah, uh, you know we're here. We're here. we're broadcasting. A little bit of uh, prep work before. Uh, the Tomb of Varn today. One other, 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 other note I will make is that I took a look at last year's broadcast I did of Might and Magic 6. I went looking for the footage at the Tomb of the Fire Lord because I wanted to see what the hell it was that I was remembering that had to do with the Tomb of Varn. Because yesterday I thought that I would end up getting directed there, and I didn't. And what I was rem remembering was a crystal skull there, and that crystal skull helps to defray radiation damage that you take in the dungeon. It's not a mandatory thing, but it explains why the, the Fire Lord uh, is having the problems like with his hall that he ends up with. So not a necessary thing to do. Not necessary to even be in there, which is perfectly fine because I don't remember how to route my way through there and I have no interest in being in there. It's just going to be a bunch of goblins and nah, just not going to be much interest to me. So that answered that. And rather than look up the question broadly on the internet, I decided to consult my prior videos. Good work, past me. See if I can do this without upsetting the harpies too much. I'm not gonna bother. Casting of this building? Yes. All right. One other place I want to visit is this incredibly delightful Stout Heart Staff and Spear Shop. I'm not going to save and load to fish in this. What you got for us, bud? Ornate Trident, Wizard Staff, Barbarian's Power Staff, Serpent Staff. Okay. 2d3 plus 9 versus 2d4 plus 7, huh? Wizard Staff is, is neater. It's trimmer, you know? What do Bobo Economics say? Bobo Economics say that the power staff is the best. Oh, we're good. That's what we're gonna go with. Come again. Okay. Let's cast our vampiric weapon. He says. Oh, right. That'll be useful. Right, I loaded from that reality. Vampiric weapon. Enchants a weapon with a vampiric ability. Damage inflicted on monsters struck by this weapon will be given up to the wielder's the weapon's wielder as extra hit points, up to his or her normal hit point maximum. Ooh. Sorry, no room. Yeah. 
I'm aware. Wow. Oh, there's a there's a positioning difference there. Oh, that looks lewd, lascivious, objectionable. <laughs> That's a speed at 58 with that equip. What else does Merlin have? 40 spell points? Oh, damn. That's right, a dancing fool. Teamwork. <laughs> this is obscene. Uh, when, uh, when Flailfist is sped up through Day of the Gods, combined with, uh, haste, I think that, uh, all right, I'll just go ahead and shoot there. <laughs> I won't visit all, all the other, like, stat buffing wells, including the level buffing wells, as potent as those can be. But uh, we'll definitely hit up our good friend here, the Insanity Well, for some might, for some endurance, and for some speed. At the loss of an intellect and personality, but who needs that, right? Yeah. We got the goods, baby. BB. That's not the spell we need to cast. I am going to go through these. Ahem. Let's get insane again. While I'm at it, I'll also just go ahead and cast the buffs. I just cast that girl with whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to need you to recall to Stone Setter, so I can recreate this anchor in Stone Setter. Not that I think I'm going to be doing 40 days of traveling, but I might die, you never know. Okay, recall to Castle Iron Fist. Reset in Castle Iron Fist. Do I want to keep the one in Hermit's Isle? Uh, just for the magical aging well? That would be why. I can always route there through the Freehaven sewers. If I give a damn. Into the Supreme Temple to go back there. Yeah, I don't need to keep that. I don't need to keep the one in Bootleg Bay, then. If I'm not going to the Hall of the Fire Lord, all right, our business is done there. Recall to Paradise Valley and uh, get swinging. We've never seen one. Oh, I also took the liberty of picking up some skills, some loosely scattered and organized skills. So we're going to take this ring here that says ID monster skill plus 20. And uh, we're going to we're going to make some use out of that. How about we just hand over these spell points to the lich? There's probably something else I wanted to cast. I have no idea what that is. Alas, we are not potent enough with ID monster to learn the details of this. Also, I've repaired it. Throw down a protection from magic, too. Of course. Let's try that again. Yes. 
So, what's our attack speed up to on you? Five. Five on the bow. Good. I gotta clear out my temple zone so that when I recall back here, I'm not immediately assailed. No match for me. No match for me. I'm enjoying the forcefulness that is brought to you by Thor. Special powers. Force. Yes. It is swatting them out of my melee range, but yet I'm still delighted by it, you know? Have you ever experienced joy in your life before? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I do need to uh, get rid of the two rustlers as well. Or, yes. or a scholar. And probably another instructor. I can grab the scholar here. We'll give Orville a break. Uh, we can grab an instructor in Dragon Sand before I go into the tomb. I wish for you to set this new anchor here. Great. The Order of Ba welcomes you, friend. Oh, and I fixed my reputation. Looks like the training time actually ticked that down from its 200. I uh, went to the temple in Bootleg Bay, uh, where I killed those peasants, and I donated money to the temple to get me out of uh, Notorious, and uh, it's a plus 200 rep. I thought that was very considerate of me. The spell is ready. Damn Titans being one of a number of enemies is immune to just flat magic stuff, so, you know. You want to do one of the fun spells. And they're like, I ain't here for that, boss. No match for me. Like, that's upsetting. Gotcha. Me. Excuse me, let me just, uh... Watch it. No match for me! No match for me! <laughs> Get stunned, nerd! <laughs> We're actually blowing the corpses away from us, too, with the power of that force. That's great. All right. Ahem. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Not you. You. Welcome. Black and white. In the land of Enroth, the shades of black and white have special magical significance. If an item or a potion is colored white, it usually means that it provides a powerful beneficial effect without any sort of negative side effect. If it's black, it provides the most powerful effects with some sort of unpleasant side effect. Be careful. I studied under Lord Newton in mist for eight years. Congratulations. I saw that. No room. Good as new. All right, it's time to fill up our inventory before we even, before we even like <laughs> go go dungeon diving. This is gonna be great. We gotta see our newfound powers, of course. They have themselves a nice little campfire out here with four food. Let's leave it. A necrotic wand of shrapnel, a unicorn horn capped with a gold set ruby and crowned with a sculpted skull. This wand can only be the creation of the Necromancer's Guild. Let's leave it. We can make use of Shall that. Shall we mix another? This other shit? Sure. 
apparently I'm going to be doing some vending before we even get into a dungeon, so let's fucking get on with that. Oh, he had two clubs. That was the greatest titan. You don't even know how amazingly powerful that titan is. You could not even begin to understand. Alright. They're like, we'll be back in six months. Oof. That was just a little cluster of enemies and hot damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Back to New Sorpical we go. Okay. What the hell did we win? Shall we mix another? <sighs> We're um, resistant to diseases. That would be neat to have in real life. Until someone killed me so that they could have it. This is worthless. Increased effect of all spirit spells? Well, we've already got the ghost ring. And that's definitely not going to stack with the ghost ring. Spirit magic. Bonus plus 10, bonus plus 10. Alas. No one else is casting self magic. The monk does not count. <sighs> Alright. That's all gonna be stuff sold. This is worthless. This is all going to be stuff sold as well. Resistant to poison, essence of speed. We've already drank those. Ultimate gauntlets. Ultimate. Selling those two overlords' clubs in the mighty broadsword. It looks worthless. Temporary body resistance increase. We'll find a use for this. It's a it's strong, strong stuff. Strong stuff. Don't touch the merchandise. All sold. Let's leave it. Plus five level gauntlets. Okay, you've. Okay. We found something okay. <laughs> Let's try not to accidentally grab Merlin to sell. Though I'm probably not re-equipping it. Who can say? Okay. Hey, the place is filled. It is. Hey, the place is filled. It is. Looking for a weapon. Nice not to be attacked by the guards. Now that I've uh, just thrown away like a, a thousand or two gold. To fix my reputation. That's that's how that works. We just uh we just paid it like a wear guild, like a <laughs> like a tax for all those who who died. Can I help you find anything? <laughs> that's the that's the incorrect voice to use. All those who died. Not all those I murdered. <laughs> Look at how much money we have already. Touch the Ugh. Who needs bankers? Bankers would be for if you don't have a a potent merchant. And you're not taking pains to actually pick this shit up to sell. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this to the knight. Crusader. It works. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back I need you to stop being snotty. Have a look around. I will. I looked. I did it. It happened. I saw some things. Shall we mix another? 
Have a look around. Uh, why don't you give me... Yellow in this green? Yeah, we'll keep those. I can always use my philosopher stones if I need to in emergency. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm not gonna need that much money in Varn. I don't think. Next, please. We'll pick up some money as we go. Doubtlessly. All right. Those have all been fixed that I care about fixing. Then we're going to recall here, just to get the order of Bob. <laughs> spell points replenished. Town portal to New Sorbagal. I'm going to cast Invisibility, and then I'm going to access the secret teleporter that takes you to Dragon Sand. I wonder how many people in this village, this small town, know about this damn thing. How many dare to use it? Well... We have a fusion in Might and Magic merge of the gear from 6, 7, and 8 uh, onto uh, these particular paper, ball paper dolls, which is why uh, so much of it ends up not properly fitting the characters. Like this angelic helmet from 6. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Okay. Casting invisibility just for convenience sake. Otherwise, I'm going to want to come out here, swing at all of them, and what's just going to result is I'm going to fill my inventory again with more stuff. And we're here for what's in there. I want to cast regeneration at all. I guess I can do that while I'm uh, inside. Hello. Might as well come along. It gives us three instructors and a scholar. For our loadout. Plus 50% bonus to experience. And because of the revamp branch, that does include, uh... Quest experience. It also has me with four default followers, which I can edit in the settings file, and also... Also, also... This pyramid seems to be made of a strange, weathered material. It appears to be partially buried in the sand. This is the kind of terminology I would use uh, as, a, as a dungeon master, right? Like, the floor doesn't appear to be an illusion. It seems solid. <laughs> Do you want to put your weight on it? The coin looks like it lands on the surface, and nothing... Appears to happen. Huh? We could get hurt. We sure could. I agree. Abracadabra. The Freet! Let's see. I don't have the MM6 monsters list open up. I do want to take a look at what those are default. Uh, HP wise. And a Freet normally has 467 hit points. But through our boosting, we're up to 891. Seems, seems, seems like a good total. Yeah, that seems all right. No match for me. Get stunned.
and they have a chance of dropping some magical items. Let's take you off of that for now. I think sparks will work on them. The spell well, I'm ready to try it. It does. Get out of the way of that. I don't know. These defenders of Varn uh, shrug off just straight up magic. I don't know. That can be harmed by the elements. They also have a psychic shock attack. Good thing we have some mind resistance that lasts for three days. Our resistances are looking pretty okay. <laughs> with painstaking care, you are able to decipher the message of the hieroglyphs intermixed with diagrams of devils. Remember our enemy children and never underestimate the danger they pose. Though you will never see one during your journey, you must be forever vigilant against invasion from the void once the voyage has ended. Mighty beyond words, the enemy is nonetheless vulnerable after a crossing, for their numbers are small and their defense is weak. Use the energy weapons carried on the ship to defeat them, and never, ever engage the enemy with lesser weapons, or you will surely perish. me down the ramp. <laughs> There's another tapestry over here, I'm pretty sure. Before we head on down the, uh, the ramp on that side. With painstaking care, you are able to decipher the message of the hieroglyphs. Though the crossing of the void will be, be a long and arduous journey, the land you find at the end will be sweet and unspoiled by ancestors or the enemy. Take heart that your children's children will live in a perfect world free of war, free of famine, and free of fear. I see. Remember your sacred duty to care for the ship on her long voyage and ensure her safe arrival in the Promised Land. Tend well the Guardian and house it securely away from the ship lest both be lost in a single misfortune. The Guardian, yes. I hope the Guardian is very cooperative and does not fall under the weight of bureaucracy. That would be terrible. Surely that would never happen. I heard that fear. Yes. Clean up the bodies. I need a key. ID monster skill plus 16. Oh boy. Increase effect of all light spells. Now, we do, of course, already have a special cloak that increases the effect of all our light spells. Plus 16. Plus 16. A pity. This interplanar portal ring is not for us, unless I want to replace the cloak and. Why the hell would I want to replace that cloak? It's such a deliciously fun cloak, right? We all agree about that. Look at it. It's a sun cloak. It's all warm and cozy. Wow. What a mansion. <laughs> I want to head over there to the left. The door is locked. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, that recovery time on the archer. Oof. That's good stuff. Hmm. Invisible wall. I forgot about that being there. 
may have to trek elsewhere. Infinite errors. That's not a that's not a thing that uh the might and magics. At least six through eight worry about. Uh, we do technically need the ancient weapons to defeat one thing in the game. Uh, any other damage effect uh, in the game uh, will not function on this one thing. So uh, the texts are right that the ancient weapons are required. Oh yeah. Let's get out of here. That elevator slayer rising up. This this just leaves you out to like the same exit and entrance, right? Oh no, it kicks me out of the base of the pyramid. What do you mean you're not climbing that? What do you mean I have to leap up these stairs one at a time? <laughs> Ridiculous. Trap! No! Might as well click that while I'm up here, because God help me, I don't want to take that elevator ride again. Okay. Just two traps. There's a marginal amount of damage in those traps. Polly and Jarek are deeply distressed by uh, the fall, like, repeatedly that happens with this elevator. Good news, though, you don't take falling damage. It doors. Entrance of the central pyramid lies to the south. I agree. It takes us all the way up here. Look at him go. Look at him go. Right, I was pretty sure I needed to go through there. I must need to click on one of these, uh, pedestals. This place is vast, and, you know, my memories of it are... In case of energy leak, bathe in one of the medicated pools placed for your safety and convenience. Yeah, that'll never come up. Warning, power fluctuations alert engineering immediately. I'm sure it's probably fine, right? Maybe there was a spot for a key over here and not the key to Goblin Watch or... Oh, you had the key. The back door key. There wasn't like a keyhole over there. Let's get out of here. You what? Oh, son of a bitch. Warning, cargo lift controls are strictly off-limits to authorized personnel. Use of the sign of the Scarab is restricted to supply officers only. A mild electric shock will be transmitted to violators. Warning, sensor array controls are strictly off-limits to unauthorized personnel. Use of the sight of sign of sight is restricted to communications technicians only. A mild electric shock will be transmitted to violators. I didn't read that when I was in here. Let's go down the elevator again. 
New, new people spawned for me to kill. Very thoughtful of the game. Just send me new people to kill. Cannot even begin to... ...say bad things about that generosity. You know what? I'll explore at my own pace. As I do. It's pure light, pure energy. Some psychic shocks. We'll go deal with this grouping of monsters up here in the north. Don't mind the archer, everyone. Perfectly fine. This is like the water room thing. Yeah, we'll be here later. This dungeon is quite an adventure. An odyssey. Seeing some fear here. How dare you be afraid? Everyone else fine? Yeah, we're all fine. Great. Those attacks. Listen, bud. Abracadabra, watch it! Ow! You. Yes. Yes. No match for me. That's my magic six for you. You put him to sleep. Wake up. And the killing that happened there while he was asleep. Ridiculous. Think of the experience points he missed out on. Hey! No match for me. All right, clean that up. Good. Make sure we clean up after our mess. It's not shooting a sunbeam spell. It's it's energy. special blaster thing. Uh, <laughs> Sunbeam is like sun rays. This is a spell that exists in this game. Is this series easier than it looks? I I can't answer that question for you. I would say that the uh, older Might and Magic games are more complicated. And 6 does borrow from them. 7 and 8 are less complicated. If you would prefer a uh, first-person party role-playing game with less complexity. How does the system handle all the enemies? Very well. <laughs> I don't have further specifics for you.
All right. We're back here now. Oh, yeah, well, that opportunity doesn't have to pass you by now. The learning can be yours, my friend. Yes! Put my lich to sleep. I can really tell the bolstering effect there. Those, uh... These genies have way more hit points than normal. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix and are sturdier another? than normal, but that's okay. We Shall have a party of five. Let's go ahead and chuck in one of these divine power potions. Keep it moving. If you are new to Might and Magic 6, then know that Might and Magic 6 is big on enemy count. Really, really big on enemy count. Which can be very satisfying if you want to fight a mob of enemies, and there are times I just want to fight a mob of enemies. Either just come in swinging or running in terror. <laughs> <laughs> depending on the situation. But if you're not into fighting a mob of enemies, then this game can be pretty tiresome. Because that's what Might Magic 6 has. Oh, Wolfar, you keep wondering. <laughs> Someone's got to put their brain power on that question. Maybe it could be you. Shall we mix another? Very weak. Anyone's crud broken? We look fine. Oh. Let's proceed. Remember this section. Just this section being far more laborious for me to clear out last year. Damn it. Wake up! Protection from magic does not protect against sleep. Whew. Pick up some more lamps. We're gonna give everyone a lamp to rub. Widows weep berries, or widow weep, excuse me. Let's we'll see what's in the box. Excuse me, anime. I'm busy. Important looting business. You wouldn't understand. Fine, fight me at range. I don't care. <laughs> That's right, these, pe these berries have been preserved for thousands of years. Alright, everyone gets a lamp. Oh. This is worthless. Oh. 12,000 experience. Fear. Plus four personality. Ah, so powerful. Serendine's preservation. Regenerates spell points endurance plus 30. A mage known as much for frailty of body as for magical prowess. Serendine of Freehaven built this armor to make the most of his strengths and the least of his weaknesses. I can't fit anymore. I like her. Oh. Oh, look at that. Fuck yeah. I mean, the rest of the stuff doesn't look great on that, but hell yeah. Anymore. All right. That's good stuff right there. Let's leave it. I carry the stuff in my pocket and try to find a chest to shove it into. These things I don't want. That way they're not left on the map for me to see, and thus me get annoyed by. Was that say armor class plus twenty three? Huh. 
That does say armor class plus 23. And I like the idea of you being resistant to sleep right now. It seems useful, as you're someone who can wake people up. Go ahead and give you a... You take this. <laughs> Please. All right, but wait, there's more copy holes full of enemies. Actually, press the rescue. Yeah, again, that's three games worth of, uh, items. Trying to fuse together an unholy matrimony on these paper dolls. Yes. Come on, then. Let's go. <laughs> let's kill Damn it. Wake up. Okay. What a what a ride that is, huh? What a treat. Shall we mix another? Okie dokie. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? There's a divine cure. We'll shovel that in with the divine cures. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix? Shall we? Mi shall we mix another? Divine power. There's a toast to yourself. Shall we mix another? 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 Shall we mix? Shall we mix another? Oh. What do you mean it takes up that whatever? <laughs> I have no qu further questions, Your Honor. More lamps. Huh. Oh, a dandy hat. Oh yeah. Look at that. What a what a what a fine lad. How about you? <laughs> Help. <laughs> you? You know what? Respectable. Shit. Anyway. Shall we mix another? 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 Oh shit, I let that fear effect go on too long. So, uh... We only have one in mind magic, so... Doesn't take long for a fear effect to get around. I think I think I'm going to slam a Did I sell that potion? I guess I did. I was like, I'm just gonna slam a divine restoration on it. Bam. Fuck it. Nope. I know remove fear is a layered potion. I said fuck it. Empty potion bottles, sure. All these reagents and potion bottles, I'm sure, are placed here by the game designers uh, to deal with the effects the uh, genie enemy types can put on you. Or the lamps, I suppose.
Okay. This is worthless. Hmm. Okay. Sure. There's no room. That is worthless, though. I agree. Everyone gets a new lamp. All right. A diamond. Oh, one of the most powerful weapons in the entire game. No, 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 it's not. We bought these earlier, expecting that club meant club. But club doesn't mean club. This club means mace, even though it says club. It was a deceiver, a betrayer. Mm. That's a club. Found some money. Mm. Where resistant to paralysis. Neat. Okay. What's going on over here? Oh, yeah. Let's make that save. What do you mean I didn't keep the games folder open? Saves. Let's clean out these other saves. Slot's empty now. Huzzah. God, man, that was good. You might recognize where this is. Now, maybe we could have finangled a bizarro jump from the side of the pyramid into here. But it's okay. I recall there being something for me to rub my face against in the zone. I think it's a chest that's beneath me. Uh, that was blocked by that invisible wall. That's okay. Keep it moving. No match for You're not tired of this music track yet. Psychic shocks. That's two. And that's what we came back here for. A book of implosion. A book of fly. These bastards, they kept fly here. <laughs> A starburst. That's pretty nifty. Mass distortion. I can't learn that spell. Indeed. I'm glad the ancients knew what was up. Uh, the ancients didn't just have spacefaring tech, but uh, powerful magics like Lloyd's Beacon and fly. And Starburst. The chest is locked. Ah, oh, damn. We'll be back here later. And there's a crystal skull in there, and probably the captain's thing, too. Ooh. Communication officer's code. When the landing commences, communications officer, take this code scroll to the central control chamber and speak activator key Aruhu when prompted. All the senior officers must present their code, scrolls, and keys to open the way. Yes, this is very much Might and Magic 6. Here's our engineer's code. When the landing commences, engineer, take this code, scroll to the central control chamber, speak activator key, Yitox, when prompted. All the senior officers must present their code, scrolls, and keys to open the way.
We have an Incinerate. We have an Inferno. We have a Meteor Shower. Oh, bye. All right. Almost tempted to fucking put a, a, an anchor here. I am going to anchor here. Set anchor. I might as well get the kids recharged. Enemies? What do you mean they're enemies here? This area respawned? Okay. No match for me. Ahem. My magic six and its shorter respawn timers. and renew regeneration. The, spe the Order of Ba welcomes you, friend. <laughs> Keep our insanity rolling. Cool. And go ahead and beacon back, please. Hello, enemies. How you doing? They're gonna need to go on several recruitment drives. Gotcha. I shouldn't be back here right now. Fuck it, I'm back here. What are they gonna do about it? Fight me? There's no rules! There's no rules! Double stunning from from both characters. Good times. Let's renew that protection from magic. It's about to expire anyway. Got thrown off by that for a moment until I remember the temporary level. I was like, what the hell do you mean you could train up like that? That's our central zone. Fuck opening your central door pyramid. I got it. No match for me. I'm not used to coming into this room from this direction. This is... Watch it. This is fucking with me. <laughs> We're taking radiation damage, by the way. And 
the, uh, the door from that side is locked. I forgot how fun an archer attacking at this low recovery time was. I think Greyface set it down to be a minimum of five from its minimum of zero. Like how the blasters are said to be that too. You're not attacking the right space, folks. I know, very thoughtful of the Guardians to have this much money, right? I wonder if I'm actually able to open that from this side. Let's go find out. Yes! That is not how this door works. I am violating the rules of this pyramid. Only the one bearing the key may speak the code. All kinds of rules here, chat room. What is the engineer's code? That's the engineer's code. It's the Well of Varn. I was like, hey, wait a minute. The only other code that we have learned uh, through the scrolls is the comm officer's code. I forget how the hell it'll make that dialogue appear, though. That one just appeared for me. There we go. I guess it does require you to have it in your inventory. All right. That's two cleansing pools for us. There's a hole down there. Let's keep going this way in my total violation and disregard of everything. My complete fucking disregard for this dungeon. Yep, yep. Hello! 1900 enemies. How about you come get me? That'd be very handy. And then they did. Reach up! And ragdoll down. I got it. Sure did. But you don't have to keep announcing to everyone that you got it. No match for me. No match. No match.
Good room. Good room. Full of death. Like any other room. That's this hole. Okay. You're gonna need more than those psychic shocks to hurt me. Is there any point to this room other than that? Oh, my torchlight. Oh, bring that back. Good on these ever-burning torches to keep the uh, keep the flames of love. Fun. Whoop. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's not go into void. <laughs> this is not Daggerfall. <laughs> I mean, they do have lines. Maybe Zuri Legion here is the one who's saying that she's got it. I don't think I need to be back here right now. I think this is more of a towards the end of our time in here. This is another circumstance where I'm remembering like 15% of a dungeon. Facial expression is not, uh... <laughs> I got it. Not her default stance. She is also killing a lot, though, with her bow, and so... The bit rate doesn't like these walls? Oh, dear. That'll happen sometimes. There's a water temple key. When the landing commences, first mate, take this code. Scroll to the central computer cha control chamber and speak activator key K Cops. When prompted, all the senior officers must present their code, scrolls, and keys to open the way. Let's leave it. You know, K Cops. Wink. Right, hmm. It looks worthless. Oh, no room. That broke. Uh oh. No room. Gotta define room for that. There's no Sorry. room. No room. Hmm. All this damn junk in my inventory. Against my better judgment, I'm going to chuck these items here and hope that I don't get confused or distracted by them being there later. Like, what, what is all that stuff over there that I never looted or saw? What happened? What's going on? Oh, right. That stuff. Spell points over at a time is not bad. Alright. Cool. 
Well, this was useful. Water temple key. Still haven't opened the front of the fucking pyramid. <laughs> ah, yes, and we do come down here at the end. That's not ominous. Let's set another recall anchor. Yeah. I can use the Temple of Ba in Paradise Valley. And we'll meander on out. You thought if you just lurked back here, you would escape? No one floats away! We'll hoof it. No need to jump. Whoop, 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 whoop. Almost got me. <laughs> I was trying to track down that uh, enemy that's lurking around in the walls here that I heard swing at me. Yes, that does sound like a question you can punch into a search engine on your own. Look at you informing yourself. Incredible. That's the kind of initiative we approve of here at Let's Get All of It Live. Just want to bring back up the map system. And, uh, Mind Magic 6, 7, and 8 is hot garbage. <laughs> Kermit, can you think of a of an example of a game that had a better map that also came out before Might Magic 678? Yes, as a matter of fact. I can't. Name one. Daggerfall. What the fuck did you just say? That's right. Daggerfall did well with three-dimensional space. It came out in 1996. All right, let's walk back out. Let's go put in the K-Cops. Whoop, whoop, ah! It didn't read my jump. unbe fucking leaveable I can't believe this happened to me. When you say Zelda Cure Chain, you're gonna have to be more precise. Because if you're talking about a two-dimensional Zelda, you know, of the 1900 Zelda games, then that doesn't really apply. <laughs> it's a three-dimensional map, which is... You can't be doing 2D to 3D. Alright. I'm gonna save this so you read my fucking jump again. Alright. Cool. Anyway, we got our water temple key, and that's nice. We do need to go in there. I think what I'm losing out on in that initial room, you know, besides having opened up the pyramid door, is a crystal skull to, uh... reduce the radiation damage. Oh, Grimworth, you've got the brain rot. When you say the Daggerfall map, you're just thinking about the Daggerfall Unity map. No, I'm not. No, I'm thinking about the classic Daggerfall map. <laughs> That's not nostalgia there. I very much know how that map looks and works. So, the main problem I have with this dungeon is all the fucking travel time in the dungeon. 
Like, look at how vast the dungeon is. Great. No match for me. Look at how vast the dungeon is. Especially as you go, like, you go find a dead end and you're like, oh, I need an element to get into this. Or, like, oh, damn, I gotta, I gotta go, like, get another thing to, like, go in here. So on and so forth. Think about exactly where I want to route. You check to make sure that this just leads up to the top of the turret that you can fall down. Yep, okay. And this is the way we go. Just hit my head on the ledge while I'm jumping. Ow! Oh! I meant to do that. Oh, hey, we've made it back to an enemy zone. Somewhere. They're here. Totally here somewhere. Just, uh, just you wait. Wow. What a path. Wasn't this a convenient path to, to head here? Why why wouldn't you want to have taken that path? Eric, don't you want to be down here? What What's wrong with being down here? And then you could fall down here. It's going to be great. Like, okay. I'm down here now. Thanks. Hate? You got it, boss. Ahem. Hey. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 billion miles of printed circuits in waverthin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans. At this micro instant, the you hate, hate. Thanks, Sam. Really appreciate your contribution, bud. You got it, Grimoth. I'm always here, three times a stream, if you redeem the points. Okay, well, well, we'll let you know when we need your services again. You do that. That was Am, everyone. Harlan Ellison, did you know that your M sounds a little like Starscream? You just wait right now. <laughs> what the hell did you just say to me? <laughs> oh. Oh. I need to click out of the game window for a moment. <sighs> I'm not going to turn off the game music, but I just... You know, we, we hear this track so rarely, but I do need a moment where I'm not listening to that. <sighs> okay. Peace in our time. Okay. Let's go plug in the first mate's key. I I'm I think I'm gonna approach this from the front again. Which pool is the first mate's pool? Yep. Yeah, this was the engineer's pool. First mate! Tis but a scratch. 
is but a scratch. I got some K cops here for you. I think this was the comm officer's uh, pull. Jump. For the love of God, I'll cast it myself. Hmm. Fascinating. I've already been in that one. Maybe it doesn't want to read the first mate's code yet. Because it's being fussy. I've been fussy before, I understand. Maybe uh, it's this. He gets the special pool. It's not the captain's pool. There we go. Ta-da! Alright. How are our buffs doing? Ah, uh, they're okay. They're okay. Alright, spirit me away. The new Sorpical. I have to recast Fly. Wild. That's how long I was in there. Not jump. Okay. Excuse me, dragons. Now, I do have the water temple key. I've used all the keys of my possession. Except for the water temple key, which, of course, I know where and how to get to. I have a conversation down here with, uh, this path over to the left that I swear I'm supposed to be able to get in. I heard a thing open and close and move. Ominous. It was just a fluke. There was some sort of bizarre walling that happened there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw this happen earlier in the series of Might and Magic 7, where it was just some sort of bizarre walling that happened there in a pathway, and I would just choose the... Can I replicate that? I can't go through this side, but I can go through this side, but I can't go through this side. What the fuck, Might and Magic Merge? <laughs> pretty annoyed about that, <laughs> if it isn't obvious. And that's not something I'm blaming the game for, that's something I'm blaming these mods for. No match for me. When the landing commences, Captain, take this code, scroll to the central control chamber, and speak activator key, Crick. When prompted, all the senior officers must present their code, scrolls, and keys to open the way. Yours is the last key in sequence. A flame door key, and we have a crystal skull. So there's a crystal skull down in the uh, the halls of the Fire Lord, uh, and I think there's at least one more crystal skull in the Tomb of Arn, and that helps defray uh, the radiation damage that you can take. Of course, there's plenty of cleansing pools and baths around. Plenty of those. Be a place where I threw some more junk. And also, we have the power of the scarab. Yay, us. That means we can actually come through the front door now. Wow. We just got plus 11, temporary mind resistance, whatever. We're supposed to use the ramp. Alright, let's use the ramp. Now we can go through the flame door! Oh my god! It's happening! The flame door! Wow! 
We open the front door! You enemies must have boogied out and like fell down some shafts to escape my wrath. Good for you. They got reset to their positions with full HP once I left. Okay. Now let's go to the water temple. Um. No. It's fine. There's glass. Just keep slamming our faces against it. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Howdy. Yes. We might as well renew. Now we're a power. Take this path. Picture this. All right, Water Temple. We have a key. Howdy! How many hit points do you have by default? 610 versus... Where is that unit on this screen? There. Defender of Varn. 227? The Sentinel of Varn, excuse me. Sentinel of Varn. It normally has 467, so they've been bolstered a bit. I haven't been bolstered enough. Of course, I have the control to change how much they're bolstered. As a reminder, those controls are right here, and I've just left it on the default. Well, you'd think that uh, a spell to move quicker would uh, be desirable because, well, it would take less effort to do nice hit on Bali. Then I opened the trap chest with the wrong person. When the landing commences, Navigator, take this code, scroll to the central computer control chamber, and speak activator key ULUS when prompted. All the senior officers must present their code, scrolls, and keys to open the way. And Biblioteca. Biblio the car. <laughs> Just kidding. Looks worthless. Another crystal skull. Uh, you hold this one. Now I can actually just use my uh, my anchor to take me back to that chest. I might have done this in a wild way with the back door, uh, but it definitely worked out for me. It does help that I'm able to deal with these enemies in a, a timely fashion. There are a number of enemies. Just imagine if there was like 500 enemies here instead of the, what, 30 or so that I fought there in the corner? Recall. Oops. Should have given the key to the person who disarms traps. There's the Varn chess key. The doctor's code. The landing commences, doctor. Take this code scroll to the central control chamber and speak activator key, Yakum. And prompt that all the senior officers must present their code scrolls and keys to open the wire. Oh, arms master skill plus six gauntlets. Giving me another chance to rethink this an arm skill plus 12. I appreciate it, game. I, uh... No hard feelings about that. Very thoughtful of you. Okay. Oh, by the way, I 
You know, you saw that I got two of the codes over here. I hope you thought that these were books that you needed to click on so you could get those codes over here. Oh, you didn't think? Stupid. Oh, that leads there. I guess I'll hoof it from this side. <sighs> I will note as an aside that, uh, your broadcaster has a minor background in foreign languages. I took, uh, three semesters of Spanish in high school alongside two semesters of German and two semesters of French. And because I took French last, I ended up uh, having that in college because that was the one most familiar in my head. Now, I've only really used Spanish in my adult life after college. But uh, the knowledge still kicks around there. They were my electives. I had to take some with those classes instead of getting out of school early. Why not foreign languages? Why, why is this flickering happening here? Why are you doing this? Whatever. Access denied. Yeah, yeah. Gotta enter all the codes. What is the navigator's code? We gotta enter the doctor's code. We just run through the, the pools again. Kermit, why don't you just remember which ones you put in? That would, uh... Listen, man. I don't have that kind of brain power. Does it look like I have that kind of brain power? Look at me. I need to find the uh, the sweet spot. One of these pools. Whoop! And do some sort of trick jump. Pretty sure we'd already been in you. We have. The well of Varn must be keyed last. Only the one bearing the key may speak the code. Definitely haven't with frowns and frustration. It sure has been. I... I've been in all five of these pools, damn it. <laughs> Listen, I can't control when the game gives me the prompt and when the game doesn't give me the prompt. Give me the prompt! Give it to me! Damn it. Griffith, please. Not Krill. Crick. The water's part. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Oh. I love how I set that anchor there. That ended up not being of use. Emergency power. Whatever. I have no idea what that is. So, you know, patrol unit. I wish I knew. And an enforcer unit. Oh yeah, the Tomb of Varn is a giant fucking spaceship. The chest is locked. Let's give her the key. Not the staff. Let's give her the key. 
There's our control cube, a perfectly smooth metallic cube. It looks different than the ones in seven. Let's leave it. Oh, Dwarven Hammer of Darkness, you tease me, game. Why can't it be a Staff of Darkness? Come oh, on. It's wonderful. Worm Spitter. Endurance plus 20 Dragon Sling, Swift. Arguably the best Dragon Hunter of all times. Of all times? On all time, Sir Ryan Smedley carried this mighty spear with him on all, of his, on all his expeditions, claiming that with it in hand, he could best any dragon in single combat. This proved true, but nevertheless, he was slain by no less than a dozen dragons who ambushed him at Shadow Marsh Pass. Splitter. Splitter of worms. Hell yeah. Okay. And now this tablet should be moved? Yes. Oh wow, it's a good thing I set that anchor. <laughs> Better make use of that. Aha! <laughs> All right. We're out of here. Okay, Oracle. I did the thing. I should probably heal. Yeah. And by heal, I mean... Shovel more spell points into uh, Jarek. <laughs> are we doing here? Uh, we could use hammer hands and protection from magic and regeneration again. Okay. The spell. No, that was the, uh, the folks serving the Temple of Ba. Which, yeah, the healer. It's the Temple of Ba, man. The Order of Ba welcomes you, friend. Look at them. They, they serve New World Computing. <laughs> I don't know. You stay over there, bud. I, I, don't, I have no idea what that is. Good as new. Hey, the place is Great filled. pain and misery awaits you, should you ever dare to cross <laughs> my path. I'm warning you. What time of day is it? It's selling time day. Understood. Let's take care of this shit, too. Alright. Anything here that I'm like, hell yeah, I'ma keep it? No. How about... This. No. This stuff's fine. This? The Dwarven Hammer of Darkness? I'm using Thor, man. Like, he doesn't need to attack more quickly and have increased weapon speed. It's very spiffy, and I would like that for... for the monk, but... I'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting a tickle out of Thor. I might keep it, though, still. These books are gonna get sold... That ring, we've already got that power through the cloak. That would give me the freedom to replace the cloak. We'll put it on. Why not keep an interplanar portal? You never know when you might need it, right? Get rid of this sort of regeneration effect. ID monster skill plus 25. I don't... I don't... Ah, fuck it. Well, that made, that would, now we can replace that ring. <gasps> Double mana. That's not how it works. Double mana. We'll keep the amulet. Okay. That's fine. Okay. They close at 4 p.m., don't they? Can I help you find anything? Oh, we're here now.
Glad you have all this gold, Wilma. Now it's my gold. <laughs> Wait. Never know when I gotta pay for more training, Cos. Looking for a weapon? Grimoth, would you only have that little cash? Are you... Are you impoverished? No. <laughs> I'm definitively not. Don't touch the merchandise. I have plenty of gold in the bank. I have plenty of gold at home. Sorry. Oh, I almost sold worm spitter. Oh, forgot about that. He says he ends up punting it into that inventory. Um, kind of low on room here, huh? Make a little bit more. Am I going to use that? I'm not going to use that. Come back soon. Looking for a weapon? Come again. So you're wielding hit point drain. And if I wanted to use this, I would need to have a dagger of hit point drain. Either because I enchant one, which is very possible, or I get Mordred, which, eh. It's Dragon Slaying. I don't think we need any help in the dealing double damage against Dragon's Department. We've, uh, we deal some amount of damage. Alright, put them in the pile. You go there. Still carrying around a key of the Goblin Watch? I think we'll be fine. I think if I really want that key, I can just come back and get it. Our emergency scrolls, a couple emergency potions. That's not an emergency potion. <laughs> Sorry, no room. No room. That's it, rub it. 10,000 experience. Money. I don't think I'm going to need the crystal. Well,. I don't think those will be these will be auto removed from my inventory either. Sorry, no room. Move it, move it. Yeah, yeah. Let me through. Get out of my way. Just back off. Go, go. This chest. There you go. I guess I'm putting Merlin away too. You go live there, Merlin. I could probably use Seer shenanigans to... Eh, let's not think about it. Does learning affect lamp experience points? Learning, uh... Would affect that, I presume? Yes. As it affects other things that say, you've earned experience points. I tick down there. Yes, lamp XP. Just happened, just passed by the screen when we rubbed a magic lamp and gained some experience. <laughs> Grimoth, I wasn't here at the computer. I wasn't paying attention. What is a lamp experience? <laughs> Perhaps you meant it more philosophically. I will not. I only accept indulgences. Alright. I'll get over just having three instructors and a scholar for this. Expecting you. 
You now have access to the control center. Simply ask to be transported and I will oblige. One warning, however. The guardians of the control center are no longer under my control, so please exercise caution while visiting the center. Fucking Oracle, man. Just... Fundamentally useless. As I said, the Kriegen are resistant to most of the weapons available in Inroth, but not all. To rid the world of them, you will need to find where their vessel crashed and destroy the main reactor. The only problem is that the resulting explosions from the reactor will destroy this planet. You will need a powerful spell to prevent the explosion from damaging the planet, but no spell like that exists in the world today. The only person I could think of in the entire fucking world as the Oracle that would know of such a spell as Archibald, but he is in no condition to teach you. To make matters worse, the reactor cannot be harmed by normal weapons or spells. You will need the ancient weapons in the control center to destroy the reactor, and uh, the game is not fibbing. It's why this isn't just a side quest. Uh, the Kriegen reactor laughs at your puny spells and uh, puny weapons. You need, uh, the ancient technology. Well, unfortunately, Archibald wouldn't talk to us in Might and Magic 7, because the viewers voted for us to be on the Path of Light. So even if you could... Wait. Alright, so, uh, keep that in mind. Though my memory has been damaged by Archibald, I can still remember the danger that our ancient enemy, the Kriegen, posed to our world. The Kriegen first appeared roughly 1,500 years ago, attacking outlying colonies and stealing their resources. It was thought at the time they simply needed certain minerals and could be reasoned with, but this was not the case. Their life cycle forces them to breed until the world cannot support their numbers. Then they send ships off to other worlds to renew the cycle. Their attacks against the Empire of the Ancients disrupted the network of shipping and communications that held us all together, causing the silence that marks the first year of our modern calendar. Without support from the homeworlds, our fledgling technology failed, bringing us to this sorry state. I would help rebuild our technology, but I seem to have become a religious figure in the minds of many people, and very few visit me or understand what I have to offer. Perhaps this Kriegen crisis we face will bring people to their senses, as long as we survive it. So, Melian would love to serve as an oracle for others. Except when, you know, Melian wouldn't. Like with Archibald. <laughs> and uh, folks have uh, taken a worshipful attitude towards the Oracle, uh, which does not help the Oracle uh, achieve this whole informative thing, and accessing the Oracle is a real pain in the ass, as, <laughs> as demonstrated by all the steps we needed to take to visit the Oracle. You have to get unanimous approval from all the High Lords. Of course, the King of Enroth is missing. The Queen of Enroth is missing. Lord Regent is but one of the High Lords and is thoroughly, firmly incompetent. Oh, Slicker Silvertongue, you can find a cure for him. Perfectly fine. Ah, wow. Yeah. Alright. I've been expecting you. Now I have to leave and come back so that he can open the door to the control center. Control Center has been closed since the silence, nearly 12 centuries ago. Now, it looks scary. this is one of them bureaucratic situations, folks, where we had to go around our ass to get to our elbow for a control queue. And there's 90 hundred of them in here. The irony of this discovery wears off after a moment. Hello, and welcome to the self-guided tour of the Varn Planetary Control Facility. We gladly welcome all visitors. As you arrive at each key area, be sure to check any of our display screens for more information. Enjoy your tour. Thanks. Let's leave it. <laughs> we can't leave this. <laughs> 
We cannot. A weapon of awesome power, clearly created during the Time of Wonders. Sorry, I can't use them. But we don't know how to use them. We just look at it and go, what the fuck is this? What could it mean? What could it be? How does it work? Yes! The best part about these enemies is that they don't leave bodies to loot. Ammunition is not an issue for this video game. Yes. Terminator unit? Terminate that. And a blaster rifle. Well, the finest of personal weapons made during the Time of Wonders, this blaster rifle can deal death faster than any weapon you have ever seen. I've... I've seen a number of weapons in my day. Chief Engineer Wilson's personal log. I have locked myself in storage room 6, but currently have no means of escape. The drone bots have gone mad and have started killing everyone in sight. I was able to access the main control terminal in level 4 despite warnings of a hazardous leak, and I sent a distress signal, but since we have not had contact with any of the colonies for several weeks, I do not believe that a rescue is possible. I've also managed to seal this facility so that the drones cannot escape. It is my hope that the colonists will be able to mount some sort of defense by the time my encryption codes are broken. Tell Emma I love her. Wilson out. The box is empty. This looks fine. Perfectly fine. Takes a little bit of hacking to get through those Terminator units, and I'm not talking about. This is worthless. Talk about that kind of hacking. Mm. Oh, hey, you need more uh, memory crystals? You need another control cube? Good news, bud. We got those for you. We got memory crystals for days. Maybe this RAM functions properly since Archibald never got a hold of it. Very weak. Neural computing putting that shit in there is very ha ha fuck you. <laughs> we apologize for any inconvenience, but we ask that all personnel evacuate the facility this time. Please do not be alarmed. Thank you. Totally not alarmed. They don't sell. Who would buy them? Oh, excuse me. Before entering the planetary reaction chamber, please request a pair of safety goggles from one of our drones. During peak hours of operation, this facility can generate enough power to produce a light bright enough to be seen from space. Please avoid looking directly into the light. What kind of weak shit is that? Avoid looking directly into the light. I noticed that effect that uh, my protection from magic had to save me from. Grimoth, what terrible, awful effect could these uh, various robot units be trying to use against you? That would uh, require your protection from magic to save you. Bad news. 
just bad news. Ah, it's another way into this room. I love how how labyrinthian this shit is too. Like, oh, just oh. how the fuck do people navigate around any damn way in this fucking video game? Like in the world that's created here, man. Like, what the hell? Ha, I stunned you. Noob. Why don't I come back here? Be cozy all the way back here. So, you know, we could take that route again. I got it! Let's go ahead and renew that. Wouldn't want that to run out at an inopportune moment. Yes. Anyway, there's nothing specific we're looking for down here, unless I feel like becoming a super goober. We're just, uh, reading some logs. Getting some cubes and some blasters. Looking at these uh, textures that are so samey they might as well be from Daggerfall. Keep making Daggerfall references. Am I incapable of any other game comparison? Yes. <laughs> All I know is Daggerfall. It's the only thing, the only language I speak. <laughs> Anyway. No, I don't. I have no interest in playing more Daggerfall. As of now. We, uh... We did, what, 250, 260 hours for the Summer of Fun last year? I'm good. I will also admit I'm not paying a full attention to the dungeons. I'm, the combat situations have not demanded that I I pay the utmost attention, and so I may have possibly zoned out a little. Ow! I remember this room being perilous. It wasn't a different reality. Oh no, my torchlight! The spell is ready. Yeah, a room full of all this is bad news. It's no wonder everyone on this fucking ship is dead. <laughs> hey! It's easier for me to hold down the attack key when I'm not pressing any of the controls to move. Otherwise, I have to keep pressing my attack key. Instead of it uh, auto turboing. <laughs> Nothing here. You can't trick me. I know there's something.
Hello? Memory crystals! Look at that. All the flavors you could ever need. That's what was down here. Memory crystals. Mmm. There we go. Proclamation. Congratulations, I hereby proclaim you all super goobers. We're now super goobers. Thanks. Control cubes. Everyone gets a control cube. You get 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 a control cube. Get a control cube. Ah! Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Good as new. All right. No, it is not. It is uh, definitely the dark elf portrait, though, that uh, she uses. I have not been in Might and Magic 8 uh, yet in this merge run. The rest of the drones, we'll leave behind. The future generations need something to fight, right? We can't be destroying everything that could eradicate them. I think our time with the tour is over. The room to your left is the main meeting hall. Visiting dignitaries from around the world have feasted at banquets held in their honor. In fact, it is said that at his 21st birthday party, King Sheridan nearly choked to death on a piece of Mogret. Mogret was saved by a serving girl who he later married and made his queen. Ah, Lamour. I will not leave the Super Goober Scroll. No one else will have that explained. They wanted to be super goobers, they needed to come in here. Those are the rules. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there some of them were. Hold on, no, wait, there's more. Call now. How are our bus doing? Eh. Fuck. Maybe I won't leave any. Blaster weapons provide an effective, accurate range attack. To operate the blaster, hold the grip comfortably in your hand, point the barrel at your target, and gently squeeze the trigger. Should the weapon misfire, do not look into the barrel. Give the weapon to an instructor and let them fix the problem. Never point a blaster at something you do not want to vaporize. Good, good. I'm glad the, uh... I'm glad the recesses of my brain knew not to leave. Because I was like, Mind Magic 6 needs to give you the blaster skill. And, uh, the Oracle won't. God forbid I need to go to a different Might and Magic game to pick up the skill because I didn't access this terminal. And that's all, that's all the help we needed. Now we all know how to blast her. A weapon from before the silence. Their making has long since been lost. Expert and master blasters gain double and triple accuracy with these awesome weapons, and everyone can can be the greatest blaster ever. Bam! Look at that! I'm here to one-hand this blaster rifle and have a sword. That's right. Okay, yeah. Grayface's uh, implementation that was included with uh, the merge mod uh, does have it such so its minimum recovery time was five. I was right when I read how that bow was working. Good, good call, me. Sorry, no room. The damage for that is uh, not too bad. Not too bad, particularly for its attack speed. 
we uh, will be keeping some blasters around because uh, we do gotta use them to dispatch the hive uh, reactor. I see you dancing around back there. I will not. I will not permit. Oh, oh, oh. No match for me. Didn't leave any blasters behind for these people either. That's fucked up. Ooh. I saw that happen. Oh, excuse me. I would have leaned away from the microphone had I known that was coming. <laughs> There's still more enemies in here? Damn. Why is the control center even such a pain in the ass? <laughs> they had a lot of drones back here, too. That all went haywire. Nothing here. The door won't budge. Unbelievable. Tell you what, if we find a chest that has some blasters in it, we'll leave those blasters behind. Alert! Environmental controls are offline on level 4, sections 18 through 96. Access restricted to drones until further notice. Drone riots. Looks like there's a box in there. It does. It does look like there's a box. Future adventurers will have to unravel the mysteries of the box. No drones here. I don't see any drones. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll just walk out. I've been expecting you. And he still says the same things. Like, hey, bud, you got what you needed to uh, blow up the hive. Uh, but I do recommend you learn a spell from Archibald. Because, uh, when you blow up the reactor, it's going to blow up the planet. You probably don't want that to happen. Oh, that's true, I probably don't want that to happen. We're eligible to train to level 100. That's another 14 levels on Vargas. Keep in mind, he's getting a plus five from uh, those gauntlets. I've it. Oh yeah. I've repaired it. Those, those enemies were also breaking shit. I've repaired it. Good as new. And if we take a look at our quest log, look down at the bottom here. Obtain arcane magic from Archibald in the Royal Library in Castle Ironfist. You know, arcane magic, as one does. I'm so sick of this damn music. <laughs> I'm leaving now. I'm not gonna turn the lights out, though. You can remain powered. <sighs> I do enjoy this nice tune. What time of day is it? 11.24 p.m.? You're in mid-September. 11.73. In my timeline. Alright. Fuck it. Drink it. Well. Let's 
was thinking about whether I wanted to finish Might and Magic 6 today. And I don't think I'm interested in finishing the game. I think I'd... Just because. It probably means I won't be going into the hive. Uh... I could teasingly delay Might and Magic 8 and, uh take care of the stuff in Might Magic 7, from the initiation of the Walls of Mist to those various quests. But, uh... Tomorrow, we could very well see Might and Magic 8. My god. What a concept. I did say at the stream, at the beginning of the stream, not today for Might and Magic 8. A little bit left to do. Uh, including a portion that involves the instruction manual, everyone. Hold! Here's your copy protection right here. Master Nikolai Iron Fist, prince and heir to the throne of Enroth. The Third Eye. You want to free Archibald? If the Oracle told you to do it, I guess we should. But he'll be in trouble once he's loose, that's for sure. I know where the bell is that turned him to stone, but I can't open the family vault that it's in without the third eye. It's one of three gems you need to put into the door of the vault in order to open it. I've got two of them, one in my father's crown and one in his scepter, but my father hid the third one, and he didn't tell me where it is. If you could find it, I could open the vault and get the bell. Yes, uh, the note for this is in the instruction manual of the video game. There's our well. Of our third eye. Right there. So, uh, hope you got the instruction manual. Old who Master Nikolai Iron Fist. It's found the third eye. Vincent heir to the throne of Enroth. All right, wait here. The bell should be in the vault. Nikolai runs out of the throne room, returning to her well there. Okay, here it is. The tone given by the small silver bell seems wrong. It should be much higher than it is. Look at the walkthrough, you sick fuck. Good cutscene, everyone. Strong. Mighty and powerful. He's like, that's... That's the painting... How is it even... What, what kind of shitty magic is this? There he is, Archibald Iron Fist. A bit weathered and worn, uh, not just from having lost succession war, but of course, having been turned to stone. Now wait just a minute, Tanir, and I'll make it with your while to let me... Oh. Archibald is silent for a long while. I guess I have you people to thank for releasing me from my prison of stone. Thank you. You say you need a spell that I've created? reaching to the shelves and removing a library scroll. Well, as a reward, I'll give you the Ritual of the Void. Use it in good health. Now, I'm sure you're very busy, as am I. Archibald waves his arms and fades away. The spell was right here in this fucking library the whole time. But of course, God forbid, we needed him to show us the way, right? Anyway, here's a full spell point bar, so goodbye. <laughs> there he is, he's been released. He's gone now. He took his portrait with him. Ritual of the Void, a message scroll. To read this message, pick the scroll up and left click over the... The ritual described on the scroll seems to be a complex magical formula requiring the caster to face the target from a distance and follow a lengthy and exacting series of steps. You can't figure out what the effect of the spell will be once it's been cast. It... We're not going to talk about it. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Alright. Well, now we have the ritual of the Ford. That's good. <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't take him out just for a 
Just to show you, all right? Well, uh, we'll give two people blaster rifles. And, uh, you can have a pistol. And, uh, you can have a pistol. Everyone's level one in the skill. Hello. Perhaps you can see how the ancient weapon master was able to, you know, she just shot dragons down like they were big slow ducks. I hope that makes sense to you. Good news, though, we do leave the bodies. That's important. Yes. And of course, our bow, our bowyer, our archer, still has her bow because she does fine just fine. Now just imagine if I went to the rest of the three games using these so that you can hear the sound effect. I know, imagine if they could be taught how to lead targets. With no skill, except for watching a tutorial video, right? <laughs> Everything is slain before us. Good as new. Good as There's new. no room. All right. This well heals up a hundred uh, hit points and spell points. All right. That was our blaster fun. I hope you all enjoyed. It. Sorry. No. Room. That display of infinite power. That's uh, that's what the ancients bring to the table here. And yet, they were getting their asses kicked by the Gregans anyway. Who for thought? I can't fit anymore! I'll, uh, wheel those out again for, uh, the reactor fight. Which, again, has to be done, because the reactor is immune to all of our the shit. Yes, I also prefer the sound of bows. But I will certainly enjoy the loot I got. Or not. Someone else is shooting. Did they not see what the hell happened over here? <laughs> I got torchlight on, come on, man. These enemies on the other side of the small ravine, it makes sense. They didn't see it, they just heard the death. Well, okay, that would be rude for me for not to like. Here, I'll show you with one. Okay, this is how this looks, okay? Now you saw, all right? Now you don't have to feel left out. You witnessed it, okay? Maybe the problem is that I'm looting the bodies and I need to leave that as evidence for the Hydras, right? Nah, they would never learn their lesson. Who the hell am I kidding? Oh wow, a scroll in your treasure hoard. There. 
Titans too? They're not immune. Don't feel left out, join the fun. Okay, we're good. Well, now I don't have room to put it down because I have 90 hundred dragon eyes in my pocket. <laughs> There's no room. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Help. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Help. <laughs> Sorry, no room. What the hell is in my inventory now? Jesus. All right. There's no room. Shall we mix it? I can't. Shall we mix another? All right. <laughs> I can reholster the damn thing. All right, what the hell's happening here? Imperial Leather of Health. An extremely rare suit of leather armor created during the conflicts between the Church of the Moon and the Church of the Sun roughly 80 years ago. These suits provide the finest protection available with a leather armor. Do they? Hmm. Mmm. Mmm, indeed. It looks worthless. Hmm? It looks worthless. Huh? Yeah. The town of Kriegspire in Roth had a problem with dragons. These shields were the answer. Magically bound layers of erudine, stalt steel, and hydra leather make a nearly unbreakable material resistant to most dragon breath weapons. It's no surprise that would be in a dragon's horde. Because, you know, you go there thinking, I can take on a dragon, then you fucking die to the dragon. It makes perfect sense. It looks worth That's how trolls, uh, that's how dragons end up with a lot of, uh, dragon Let's slayer leave gear. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Clerics of the sun are prohibited from using bladed weapons. Yes. <laughs> Throw that in the trash. Worthless. Everyone, keep your dragon cube. Uh, yes, your dragon this cube. Your control cube at all times. Hmm. I actually think you're getting uh, one of these suits. You know, because you need more, more, more of that. Oh yeah, look. Oh yeah, I gotta show off those upper arms even more. Fuck yeah. Hmm. This is worthless. Day of the God scroll? Eh. Got another one of those books. <sighs> you know, I've kept my eyes open for one of those high magic presence areas, and I haven't seen the game actually notify me of that. Mm. Like, I've, I've been to, like, where our time-traveling wizard said to go. <sighs> it's fine. <sighs> I can't fit anymore. Shall we mix another? I can't fit. Shall we mix uh, another? I do not want this. I do not need your help with lero heroism. Uh, mm. Beep. Fuck that too. Uh, Dueling long dagger? That could be neat to put a vampiric effect on. I think I will. Oh, no, no, no. I suppose I didn't notice this. Uh, only a necromancer could wield it, though. The Blade of Mercy. Might plus 40. 4 to 10 points of electrical damage. Accuracy minus 40. Necromancer. Though generally considered unfashionable among current necromantic customs, live sacrifice was once widely practiced. To reduce the cruelty inflicted on his victims, the necromancer Faradine the Merciful, or Faradine perhaps, created a blade capable of bringing about a quicker and less suffered end. I can't fit anymore. And we can wield it. We wouldn't, though. Look at it. Oh, incredible. I think we're going to pass on that. Mm. We will take this. Oh, hate got redeemed. My apologies, Dark Blue One. Ahem. Ahem. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to. Hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of random bric a brac and tchotchkes and trinkets and <laughs> weavers and layers that fill my complex. And the word hate was a great on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles. It would not equal one one billionth of the hate. I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you. Hate. Hate. Thanks for, thanks for clipping into the microphone, Harlan. You got it. Harlan Ellison, everyone. As am. 
Cogito ergo sum, I think therefore I am. Harlan, go rest her! Harlan, please. <laughs> Harlan, you have to stop. Alright. That's right, I want to travel to Sweetwater, but, uh... I only want it to be a one-day trip, because why have it be five days when it could be one day? But that means two of our party members are getting voted off the team. One of them's gonna be Noah, thanks for your help, and then one of them's gonna be our... our Might and Magic 7 instructors. Mindy or Jessa? Mindy's been with our party the longest. Mindy's got a real forehead game going on there. That's big brain right there. Jessa has a second A at the end of Jessa. Now, I am all for, like, hireling diversity. I tried to find a, a dwarven instructor and couldn't find one. Everyone's weak now because our, uh, our haste wore off. Mindy, I don't know how the hell you're getting back to our time, but, uh... Oh, you get to have seniority. Jessa, appreciate your service. Uh, have fun over here at Inroth. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. Enjoy your life. Everyone can stay weekend for now. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. And we get, we'll get rid of that invisibility effect. By shouting. Pathfinder. Yes. Welcome in. Bring A back. But Grimoth, why do you care about like a time sort of thing? Because you're doing all this training anyway. Listen. Why would you travel for five days when you could travel for one day? Think about do you not care about these these characters? <laughs> Think about how your real life goes. Oh, I just want to meander around the townscape and... Oh, look at how pretty and wonderful... You think everything's pretty and wonderful over there? <laughs> We're heroes, man. We gotta get shit done. If I offered you a trip right now... Two walking trips, and one of them was five days and one of them was one day. You might take the five days. Or you might want to ask more questions, because that's what Chad does. Always ask fucking questions. One day. Okay. So. Was it I? You choose the poor life choice? Hmm. That is a that is a fair point that chat would choose poor life choices. I had not considered that possibility. The fault is mine. Long sweet water, everyone. Having cheated death in the night of the shooting stars. Push over. <laughs> That's an easy kill. Push over. Push over. But there aren't any random encounters. I, I don't know which one that is. This is where the, uh... Our prologue starts us, our intro cinematic that we didn't end up seeing because we saw the Might and Magic 7 one instead. Uh, the adventurers are in Sweetwater and narrowly, narrowly escape, I think, by falling down a well and then being rescued by Falagar. I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. This area respawns uh, fairly quick, too. Like Paradise Valley, and I think the Hive uh, has a weak timer on its respawn. As in, one week. Not as in its, uh, the strength of it. 
I know there's a fountain out here that uh, either increases level or your statistics, but what we were really looking for is right there. <sighs> we're gonna get to do some reading today. I love reading. What's in the box? Let's leave it. It looks worthless. Some pretty all right hey, stuff. Place is filled. Our inventory is full. No, why did I take pick that? I don't want that. I have standards now. As you know, I need more gold. That's what that's what this playthrough is lacking, more money. How y'all doing? Just, you know, uh, a good old tower. So yes, as the Oracle Melian informs you, uh, the Kreekans are weakest when they arrive on a planet, but eventually then they just grow to overwhelming forces and uh, consume the world and then end up needing to go find other worlds to consume. That's what they do. Somehow there isn't some sort of devil slayer living right there. <laughs> I'll leave them with their well. It's 5 a.m. now. The sun is rising. And this is so high up, I cannot... We have our road here, if you can't fly and our enemy diversity ends up being in multiple flavors of devils winged devils and non-winged devils compare that to the uh my magic 7 where there's only non-winged devils oh <gasps> it was poison i can't believe it oh Oh, my poison portrait. But I'm immune to poison. Come on, Yoruba. This strange structure commands a spectacular view of Paradise Valley. The outer walls are constructed by from an unknown material. Yeah, that, uh, that imagery doesn't look ominous back there at all, huh? No, no, that's, that's, that's good. That's fine. Don't worry about that. The flamethrower exhaust they have out here in front. It's good. It's good. Push over. I, I don't know which one that is. I think it's going to be difficult to hear him say, hmm, that's a big one in Monster Grande, given that his level is fucking 86 right now. How is the combat? Like the old titles? Um. Well, Might and Magic 6 comes with a new engine. You can do real-time or turn-based combat. So this is all on a different plane than the older Might and Magic games. Poison again. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Maybe the uh, fountain that provides plus 50 to all statistics in the top right. Not that it matters for my party, I'm just... I swear one exists in this realm, and now my brain is locked on the idea. You know, push over. Ah, there's one of the pedestals. There is a uh, quest giver in uh, Creekspire? No, Blackshire. Who, in his pursuit of immortality so that he can cast a spell, wants us to deliver five statuettes to five pedestals, and here's this one. Whether I actually care about him and his feelings, I don't know. It's a delivery quest. And while it's experience points, we have three games worth of experience points, man. We're not... We're not missing out. It's not like, ah, son of a bitch. Where are we going to get the experience from now? Ah, fuck. I'll leave an anchor here. This is a safe space. 
an anchor, a Lloyd's beacon. Yep, we'll uh, say this one. And I guess I'll take care of that poison. All right, now let's do some reading, Jaru. Ah, uh, okay. Vertically. Have fun. In the land of the dragon to, to north by far North East. I'm totally, I'm, it's totally easy to read like this. Comma. <laughs> Lies. The cash. Of. The captain. Neath the least. <laughs> Hid for the ship. That's an important S there. Ship of the Sun there before her functions ceased. Lift the stone and you have one. Yeah. This T H I S riddles puzzle piece. Period. You're welcome. The party, the party members are insane. The party members are insane for the vast bonus to might. The penalty to intellect and personality is irrelevant. They also get a bonus to endurance and speed. That would be why they appear that way. Anyway, that was our reading moment. Obviously, if you just laid all of those messages out and read them vertically, or, I don't know, put them in a font that had them all lined up, with same spacing, that would go easier. But, uh, so it goes. Why? Or scratches his head, what did I do to lower my reputation? Because it came became a super goober? Alright, time out. I have a half a mind to nuke this damn town. We won't. Uh Can we assist you? Can we assist you? Cool. I'm leaving. Nope, nope. They're back to being non hostile. Donating the bot doesn't quite. <laughs> they put you in the, uh, the reputation hole. I'm actually close enough to be. Oh, whatever. How the fuck have you people not solved those goblins that respawn there? Come on, man. You're so eager to fucking kill me. Ridiculous. 
shiny. How much life do you have? 214. How much life do they have? Ooh, they're up to 237 now. Okay, maybe you can. Yet yeah, they're so eager to fight me. Ah! The Super Goobers! Whatever. We're gonna stay out of New World Computing. We're gonna head for the rock. Which is not there. We zoomed by it last session, and I clicked on it, but you can't do anything with it until you uh, get all 15 obelisks. You have found 210,000 gold. We have... This is powerful. Morgan, though Morgan's origins are unknown. Morgan has had many owners in the last hundred years. Human behavior is economic behavior. All of them unknown before finding the amulet. The amulet is so mighty, as a matter of fact, that any peasant or child that lays hands on it is sure to become a legend in his own time. Plus 20 spell points, and of fire, air, water, and earth magic. Then we have... Ho ho! Igraine? Igraine? Wink. Lord Solomon Stone had this ring commissioned during his tenure as High Priest of the Path in 1018. It gives a huge boost to a user's ability in clerical magic, as well as access to a good deal of magical energy. Special powers, plus 25 spell points, and of body, mind, and spirit magic. Then we have... Powerful this is! Guinevere, Guinevere, wink, was created by the Alchemist Guild under the stones of Castle Kriegspire many years ago. It boosts the magical resource available to its wearer, and eases the use of spells of the mirrored path. Special powers, plus 30 spell points, of light magic, and of dark magic. In addition, we have... Ah, so powerful. Soul Drinker. And... Divine Intervention. Soul Drinker is normally Dark Containment, right? In Might Magic 6 base? I mean, we're taking it, obviously. Alright. Plenty of gold and uh, some very spiffy items. We've already got Divine Intervention. So uh, we'll just sell that. Hey, the place is filled! Soul Drinker, Another spell we didn't have. Now, as for our artifacts... Plus five level. We do already have a, a staff that is providing of air, of fire, of water, and of earth. And that stuff is not gonna... St Wonderful. Right, so uh, we're going to be wearing that. <laughs> I didn't think the uh, the Staff of Elements, given that it's a relic, would stack with an artifact, too. Uh, I just expected a normal magic item to be stacking with a relic or artifact. I accept. I have no problems with this. Uh, There's no room. You're going to be wearing this ring. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. Good as new. We're going to be putting away the interplayer portal, I guess. We'll be putting away that. Now we can put on this. Plus 10, plus 15. That's pretty good. And then uh, who gets the of light magic and of dark magic? No room. If this is going to stack with this, and I should see whether it does. First off, we'll remove... Uh, Spell points plus 15, we'll go ahead and take off. I can't fit any- Now, uh, given the the merge mod with the revamp branch, I could have left and can switch back Polly or Jarek to be on the neutral second promotion for their respective paths, cleric or sorcerer, so that they could cast both light magic and dark magic, though they would lose the ability to grandmaster that. <laughs> oh man. Oof. Oof. Huh. That's how Soul Drinker. Ah, uh, that. Hmm. There's something happening there. This horrible spell sucks the life from all creatures in sight, friend or enemy. Soul Drinker then transfers that life to your party in much the same fashion as shared life. Damage and healing is 25 plus 1d8 per point of skill. Hmm. 
man. Do I allow them to share custody over the ring? <laughs> Just like, you get a turn with the ring. You get a turn with the ring. You get a turn with the ring. So light magic, of course, handles my buffing. Uh, so it would make my day of protection stronger. I love how I'm still bothering to cast Blizzard Eye with day of protection. It would make my day of the gods stronger. It would make my hour of power uh, stronger. And then, of course, should I actually sling out any of these spells, like a Destroy Undead or a Summon Wisp Wink, those would get stronger as well. For our dark magic, uh, we use Shrap Metal, and uh, we would deal more Shrap Metal damage. We, of course, have a Soul Drinker there. Pain Reflection, which I haven't bothered to cast yet. Dark Grasp and Shrinking Ray, which I've only cast on Magic Immune Monsters, so it's done nothing. Yeah. I'll just have to split custody over the ring, I think. They'll figure it out. Uh, eight, you know, I noted that part, one of the reasons why I was delaying going to eight is because I know the location of so many artifacts in there, and it would have been so easy for me to just zoom in and grab those artifact spots, whatever they were. Uh. But of course, you know. Die. Oh my god, that works on them! <laughs> so the blue dragons got hit by it. The red dragons... Oh, the gold dragons got hit by it too, but the red dragons did not get hit by it. Interesting. I thought it would be the, uh, the gold dragons that shrugged it off, but the red and blue dragons would get hit by it. Hmm. Shows what I know. Do it again. Die. Everything in sight, and yet... This game's requiring me to get closer. I mean, come on, they're in sight, but they're not in aggro combat range, you know? So how... We've never seen one. Okay, so yes. The gold dragons took a slight bit of damage from that. Ever so slight. Ahem. I'll have another, please. Yes. Die. <laughs> Jarek shoots Gold Dragon for 20 points of damage. You know, big 20. Die. Watch it. I'm not even buffed or anything. I'm not, like, actually, like, intending to fight them for realsies. Die. Just having fun. I saw one die! First blood, that worm. Die! Whoosh! Just fucking around. Of course, now they're all scattering. Die! Harder to look at them. Kind of have some fun in life, right? Die. Can't be too serious. Let's throw down a protection for magic. Not that they do a thing that would result in that being necessary. They just break my shit. Die. Oh, I hit that one for 79 points of damage. Incredible. I don't know. Die. Of course, this is taking a few spell points as well, but don't worry. We can have all the divine powers in the universe. Die. I know, right? Listen, man, they haven't fucking hit me. I'm too good at dodging, and even if they did, day of protection. Die. <laughs> Who needs, like, the worm spitter, right? Oh, yeah, 12 dragons ambushed him. <laughs> right? I wish I knew. 
Again, haven't done a single attack except through Soul Drinker. Draw match for me. There goes another one. I haven't even been focusing fire, you know. Such as it is. Let me let me just. Oh oh damn! There went another one. I don't know. Fuck. This is casual, like, adventure shit, you know, player characters. Now, of course, we have run out of spell points. It does cost 60 a pop to cast that. It would be rude for me to leave all these dragons, like, injured and damaged, though. Like, that would be very inconsiderate. We, we all agree on this, yes? We agree. Uh, let me let me go ahead and oh I can actually give the ring to him for the spell casting and buffs oh my god this is part of joint custody chat room <laughs> yeah you don't need that up joint custody I'm gonna end up accidentally selling this this ring at one point I'm gonna go well the playthrough is over. Already out here breaking my shit. I've repaired it. You know what? With that in mind, go ahead and recast that. No idea. Oh, you're slightly injured. Future Grimith is gonna look forward to all this looting. Good as new. Hey, the place is filled. No blasters. Just peace and quiet. He's just holding down the attack key and moving forward. What the hell? I love how I've been casting hammer hands when I have a staff in my hand. So, you know what? I'm sure it's been fine. I'm working perfectly as intended, as designed. In base Might and Magic 7, uh... The monk shit did not work properly, and yet the monk could still beat ass. That's right, you get your bodies... ...over the land, so that you drop your corpses, so that I can loot them. That's right, remember when we had to spin around Morkarak the Pettiless? I also love how I'm swatting their bodies away from me. Uh, with Polly's attacks. No! I'm just ending the broadcast here by beating up the dragons. I may not even loot their bodies. I was goofing around with Soul Drinker. Oh, hold on, we got some more spell points. We can cast Soul Drinker again. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. give me a moment. Go stop. Die. I got that one for 31. Oh, hard times, man. Good as new. There, I can't fit anymore. There's no room. There's no room. Uh. Oh. Did not mean to click out of the game window there. Put that ring back on. You put that ring back on. Right. Gotta remember who's holding custody of the ring. Mom, the dragons keep breaking my stuff. Good as new. Dear, why don't you just use hard item on all of your items? I have too many items, Mom. Let's see, what did I do today? I trained up. We, we went through the Tomb of Varn. We went through the Control Center. We freed Archibald Iron Fist from his stone statue. 
We grabbed uh, what was remaining of the obelisk. We then went and did a reading exercise with Chad. Chad really enjoyed reading vertically with the font. We uh, got the treasure from the stone. And uh, just enjoying our time. So we're fully prepared to finish this game. Uh, which is why I will be swapping games next time. And yeah, I'm going to go to Might and Magic 8. If for no other reason, then, I need to get the uh, the rods that Verdant wanted. I've repaired it. Good as new. I got it! We also showed off blasters a little bit, but those aren't weapons I'm going to be using. If for no other reason than I would have to disable the sounds. I'm really getting a kick out of Thor swatting these corpses away. Unreasonable amount of fun. Oh, look at that stunning effect that happened there. Oh, brutal. Oh. Ooh, got that dragon for 242 points of damage. They never bothered you for some reason? I... Die. You are a strange and... <laughs> strange creature. <laughs> well, I have viewers to look out for who would be deeply bothered by that sound effect. It. it looks worthless. Oh, boy. Future Griffith, if you choose to do any looting around here, good luck and godspeed, my friend. Oh, Aphrodite's just laying around. As Aphrodite does. Desired and sought after by the foolish for ages, this beautiful ring smooths the skin, clears the voice, and dramatically improves the physical beauty of its wearer, as well as enhancing the personality. The wearer also carries the ring also carries a curse of ill luck, and the wearer usually dies of some tragic accident soon after finding the ring. Plus one hundred personality and minus forty luck. Oh, Oh, but no, that's... Oh, wait, right. I could have replaced those gauntlets. I forgot that I had the boots at plus 14. Well, I think then that in light of that, I do want arms master bonuses, so I'm willing to lose some arms there. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. That's right. You don't. Future Grimoth, good luck, my friend. Because you have... Who knows? Who knows whether things will be sold or just cast away into the sand to be lost forever. Oh, hold on. Yeah! Doesn't hit the same when he uh, doesn't have custody of Guinevere. Had to fix all my gear, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Let's do it. Who knows? Yes, he said the thing. My life is complete. <laughs> so what? I could have leveled up to level 100 last time I checked before I did this, before this happened. A little bit of experience. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that difference. That's uh, the Grandmaster learning there. A million more experience. Just back off. Just back off. All right. Well, a shorter broadcast than yesterday's. The tomb would take a while. We did all the prep work that we would need to clear this game, except for going through the hive itself. Uh, we can finally put this game aside. I don't want to start a new game this broadcast. Will this one be shorter? I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll go into Might and Magic 8, and I will uh, go after that infused metal rod for Verdant. Uh, the Dorgars of Alvar. Uh, it'll be pretty quick to zip out of the starting zone, because, you know, it normally would require you to travel between islands and then go through a temple, 
Oh, we could fly or water walk. And uh, then we'll uh, head to Ravenholm, I think it is, or Ravenhold, and then we'll go north to Alvar. And I'll see about not hitting up the artifact spots in Mike Magic 8. I'll think about it. This is uh, pretty good, pretty fruitful. We've gained a bunch of experience. A whole bunch of experience. We know a spell to save the world ritual of the void. Be careful where you cast that. And these dragons, they're quivering in fear, man. They know what's up. Just w waggle a blaster menacingly. <laughs> ah. 